What is up guys? Chewy Slayer is back here today guys. And today guys, we're going to be talking about 5 tips to help you better utilize your mercy. Let's go ahead and get started. Starting off guys, at number 1 is play around the corners. One thing you can do with Mercy because of her beam, you can hide around the map geometry and use it to protect yourself from enemy incoming fire. Using this will improve your survivability as Mercy and help you stay alive a lot longer. Number two, remember to always have an eye on an escape route. One thing you can do with Mercy is you can keep the person you're healing on the corner of your eye, but also be looking for an escape route to fly to in case you get died by heroes like Genji or Tracer. This is one of the main things that helped me stay alive as Mercy is always making sure you have an eye on an escape route. Number three, don't damage boost if someone's critical health. One of the main and most important things of Mercy is keeping everyone healed and healthy. If anyone hits critical health, you need to switch off a damage boost and go to heal them. Now, obviously, if they're overextended, it's probably not a good idea, but make sure your team is all healthy and happy. That way, they can stay alive and keep the team fight going. Now, obviously, there are some situations where you might not be able to save teammates that are critical health, and you might want to be damage boosting and ulting Farah or ulting Genji to make sure they secure kills and win you the team fight. Look for those situations and see how the team fighters swing before you decide to go dive in to damage boost someone over healing someone at critical health. At number four, guys, use the blaster as a last resort. A lot of times, Mercy players don't understand that this blaster is not meant to be, oh, I'm DPS Mercy, I'm coming to save the day. No, a lot of times you're not going to want to use it unless you're the last man standing or there's an easy to kill and finish off target in front of you. Mainly, you need to be focused on healing with Mercy because that's her job. She's a healer. If you wanted to be a DPS healer, you're going to want to play Zen instead. And finally, guys, at number five is be patient with your ult. A lot of the misplays for Mercy comes from using her ult too soon in a team fight or too late in the team fight that she gets focused down too quickly. When you're playing as Mercy and you have your ult, it's always good to play back and play safer than you normally would. And you know that time when you have that overextending hero, you know who I'm talking about. He likes to spam that word over and over and over again. Help me! Help me! In your ear, mind you, you're gonna have to say no. No, I'm not. I'm gonna wait to res so we can win this team fight at full health and not worry about you little overextending DPS players who think that you could save the game because you're gonna overextend and be by yourself. Well guys, those are my tips to help you better utilize your mercy. If you would like more tips to better utilize heroes, please let me know in the comments below. Please also let me know what hero you would like me to talk about next. So remember guys to keep on chewing and I'll keep on slaying. See all you guys on the next video. Bye bye.